So I want you to imagine for a moment that you are a catalog manager, for example, for an e-commerce company, and maybe you have a singular image of a model wearing a piece of clothing, but you don't have other angles of that image and you wanna use AI to generate those images. Well, check this out. As you can see, I wanna create a side view of this original photo that I have. Boom, I have a side view shot of that piece of clothing. Next, how about create a rear view of this photo? Boom, rear view of photo, piece of cake. Check it out. This is Rossi Bites. So what I wanna talk about today is in the Google AI Studio, the Gemini 2 Flash Experimental Model. So when you come into the AI Studio, and I'll include the link in the description below, you're gonna to wanna to come underneath Preview and select Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental. And then for output format, you wanna select images and text. So let's try out a few different examples of things that we can do with this. So to start, I'm gonna bring over an image that I already have of a model wearing a dress. And I'm gonna say, create a side view of this photo. And we'll just click Run. And you can see how long it's taking for the Gemini to actually process this. So 4.8 seconds and it generated a pretty perfect side view of that particular clothing. So now let's do create a rear view of the same image. Go ahead and click run. Again, five seconds or so, and we have a perfect rear image. If we open it up, it looks like the same model, same clothing. Okay, so next I'm gonna drag over a male model wearing a suit, and I'm going to do the same test. I'm going to say, create a side view of this photo, and we'll click run. This one's taken a little longer, but boom, look at that. We have a side view shot of that guy wearing the suit. So just like we did with the model, I'll also come in and say, create a rear view of the same photo and click run. And there we have a rear view of the model wearing that suit. Okay, next I have this image of people playing in a yard on a patio at a house. And what I wanna do is I want to use this image and I want to try to remove the people out of the background. So I'm gonna say, remove the people from this photo and click run. And within about nine seconds, take a look at that. All the people are gone from the photo. Generate a recipe with steps and images with each step of the way on how to make French toast. As we can see, we have ingredients and equipment. Crack the large eggs, add the milk, whisk the ingredients thoroughly, soak the bread. <laughs> it's showing you the skillet with butter, cooking the French toast. That is insane. Then flipping it over, repeat and add more butter. There you have your finished French toast. And then you can add some toppings. <laughs> For this one, I wanna say generate an intricate mandala coloring page in black and white. So kind of like just a coloring page in a coloring book. So that took about 15 seconds, but as you can see, we have a very intricate mandala drawing picture. So now I'm going to say now color this image in with vibrant and beautiful colors. Click run. So that took about 20 seconds, but as we can see, we have a colored in version of our mandala coloring page. So next I wanna see how Gemini does creating an image. So I'm basically asking with a very detailed prompt to create a black and white photograph of an elderly couple walking hand in hand in a park. And as you can see, it created a fantastic looking image. So now I want to have it color this picture in. So I'm going to say colorize this image now. 
And within 5.2 seconds, look at that, we have a full color version of the same photo. Next, I'm gonna say add a small dog somewhere on the sidewalk. And look at that. Not only is it on the sidewalk, but the couple is actually walking it. Okay, so next I have an image of a sofa, and I want to try to change the color of the sofa so we could maybe have multiple variations of it. So I'm going to say make this sofa blue colored. And then I'm going to click run. In about five seconds, look at that. We have a blue version of our sofa. So next I'm going to say now make it burnt orange. And there's a burnt orange version of our sofa. I'm going to now say add a stylistic clock on the wall in the background. That's crazy. So now we have our stylistic clock on the wall in the background. So as you can see, this technology is absolutely amazing. And the really crazy thing about it is what I've shown you here is the worst it'll ever be. It's only going to get exponentially better. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. And if you'd like me to continue producing content like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.